Good morning, students. How are you today? Today, we will talk about telling time, or how can we read the clock. We have two types of clock. The first one is called analog, and this means we will write the time by letters. And the second one is called digital, and this means we will write the time by digits. We must know that the long hand in the clock is four minutes, and the short hand in the clock is four hours. In this session, we will talk about the analog clock. If we have this clock, the clock is divided into two parts. Part past and part two. So, we have two parts in the clock. The right one which is called past and the left one which is called two. We have minutes and hours in the clock. The hours, the numbers, which is inside the clock, and the minutes is hidden. So we must know the minutes in the analog clock. On 12, the minute is zero. So we will say it as a clock. Minutes in the analog clock looks like mirror. How? The minutes on 1 and 11 is 5 minutes. The minutes on 2 and 10 is 10 minutes. The minutes on 3 and 9 is quarter minutes or 15 minutes. The minutes on 4 and 8 is third or 20. The minutes on 5 and 7 is 25 minutes. And the minutes on 6 is called half. So, in the analog clock, the minutes on 12 zero, so we will say it as a clock, and the minutes on six is half, and the rest of the minutes looks like mirror, five, five, ten, ten, quarter, quarter, third, third, twenty-five, twenty-five, and this is called minutes. Let's solve our First example to understand the time. What is the time in the first clock? The short hand for hours on, yes, excellent, four. And the long hand for minutes on, yes, excellent, twelve. And we said in the analog clock the minutes on twelve equals zero. So we will say it as a clock. So the time here is called at 4 o'clock. What about the time in the second clock? We said the short hand for hours on, yes, 3, and the long one on, 12. And we said the minutes on 12 is 0. So we'll say it as, yes, super, o'clock. So the time here is 3 o'clock. To write the time correctly, we will start with the word it. So to write the time correctly, we must start with the word it. Then we will write the minutes. Then we will write the minutes. After the minutes, we are going to write the part, past part or two part. Then at the end, we are going to write the out again. So, when we start writing the time, we are going to start with it, then minutes, and the long hand will tell us the minutes, then the name of the part, part past or part two, and at the end we are going to write the hours. From where we will know the name of the part? From the minutes. So, the hand of the minutes will tell us the name of the part. In the first example, what do you think? The long hand here, four minutes. On, yes, nine. Nine, the minutes on nine, we said the minutes on nine, it's called quarter or 15. We said the part, we know the part from the long hand. What do you think? The long hand here, in which part? In the right part, which is called past? Or in the left part, which is called to, yes, 
in the left part. So the left part called two. So here the part is two. And the shorthand for hours on ten. So the time here it's quarter because they have long hand on nine. So it's quarter or fifteen. The name of the part we said the long hand in the two parts. So the part will be two. And the shorthand for hours on ten. So at the end we will write the hour which is ten. It's quarter to ten. Another example, here we are going to look at the long hand because we are going to start with the minutes. The long hand here on, yes, excellent, four. What do you think? Four, the minutes on four? Yes, excellent, third. So the minutes is third. Or, yes, excellent, 20. Then, what do you think here? The part will be excellent pass. Why pass? Because the long hand for minutes on four and four in the pass part. So the part here is called pass. And the short hand for hours on, yes, excellent, eight. So when we start, we start with the word it's minutes on four. We said third or twenty. The name of the part according to the long hand is Pass and the hours at the end here is eight, so it's third past eight. So when we start to write the time correctly, we are going to write it's then minutes, then part, and at the end we are going to write the hours. And we said part according to the minutes, the part will be according to the minutes. If the long hand for the minutes on the two parts. So the part called two, and if the long hand for minutes in the past part, so the part called past. Another example, <coughs> who can read this clock or who can tell me the time in this clock? We will look at, yes, excellent, the long hand, which is four minutes. Here, the minutes on three, and we said the minutes on three calls, yes, excellent, quarter or 15, so it's excellent, then minutes, which is called quarter or 15, and what do you think the part here, here the long hand, in which part, yes, past part, so we are going to write past, then the short hand on, yes, excellent, two, so the time here, it's quarter past two. Another example, first of all, we said don't forget, we are going to look at the long hand, and the long hand here on, yes, excellent, 11, so the minutes will be 5, 5, it's then minutes, which is 5 minutes, the long hand here, yes, 2, why, why 2, the part here, why is called 2, because the long hand for minutes, in the two part, so the part two, then the hours is eight, so the time here it's five minutes to eight. Last example, don't forget when we start to write the time correctly, we are going to start with the minutes, then part, then the hours. Here, look at the long hand. The long hand here on, yes, six, and we said the minutes on six is called, yes, excellent, half. I want you to know that the part which has come with the minutes half is the past part. So always the part which has come with the half minutes is the past part. So here we know the minutes which is half, we know the part which is past, Okay, what about the hours? The hand here for hours between 2 and 3. So when the hand for hours between two numbers, we are going to take the small number again. When the hand for hours between two numbers, we are going to take the small number. What do you think? Which is the small number here? Yes, excellent, 2. So here we are going to take 
to in the hour so when we write the time we are going to write it as it half past two what about the time in this clock first of all let's look about let's look to the long hand the long hand here is on six yes excellent and what about the minutes on six yes half and we said which part comes with half yes the part the past part so it's called it half half and the shorthand for hours between four and five and we said when the shorthand between two numbers we are going to take the small one so we are going to take four so the time it's half past four your homework today will be booklet page 51 and 52 thank you and goodbye